Hello everybody, in this video we're going to learn about the len command. Alright, let's get going. So why might you need this? Well you might have a list and you'll need to know how long it is, or you might be programming a boggle game. And in the boggle game, each word you can find has a score that depends on how long that word is. So here's the command len, which stands for length. The command is len, you need two parentheses, and then inside the parentheses is the list or string you're getting the length of. If you're just starting out, I definitely recommend you save the answer to a variable just like you're doing with input. Here it is in action. I'm making a list with four names in it. I'm going to calculate the length of this list. Variable is equal to len list. And then I'll print this out. Printing out that variable name length, which is four, which is what I expect because there are four items in this list. I could also not make a variable and just have inside the len a list. So you see inside len is you know the square brackets with a list and it does the same thing. This is a different list, so the length is two. Here I'm going to show you that len works with strings. So I'll make a variable word is equal to a string supercalifragilistic expialidocious. I'll make another variable length is equal to len of that string word. I'll print it out. And there you go, len working with strings. Last one I'm showing len working with a hard-coded string. Subscribe to my channel just to show you that it works. And when I print that up, I get 23. Common mistakes. People will make the same mistake they do with input, which is to use the command len and then not print it right away and not saving it to a variable. And when you do that, it's like throwing it right in the trash. You have the length and you need to throw it right in the trash because you're never using it again. You could print it right away. If you're a beginner, the safest thing to do is to save your length to a variable and then use that variable later. Okay, here are the solutions to the labs. Pause the video and try them first, but if you get stuck, then you can come back here. On this first one, we're asking you to use len to calculate the length of a list and then to print that length out. We have a sample code right here, so I'm basically just going to copy that code. Length is equal to len of the list, which is fruits. It tells me in the starter code, do not change this line. Then I'll print the length out, I'll run it, and there you go. I could also do it in one line if I wanted to. Again, I don't recommend this if you're a beginner, but it does work in one line. For the second lab, we just want you to demonstrate that len also works with strings. So I'm really doing the exact same thing here. I'm saying length is equal to len of fruit, singular, printing that variable length, which is 10. And then you're good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.